boys, it finally happened. I know there's a lot of talk about me buying a winter car. It was either gonna be a Mercedes or a truck, and there it is right there, boys. I picked up a O2 GMC Sierra 2500 HD, baby. No, by any means, is this truck not perfect? Uh, it's very far from perfect, actually. Um, we can go around and point out, I'm gonna go around and point out everything that's wrong with this truck, because there, trust me guys, there's a lot wrong with this truck. Uh, a lot of cosmetics. Motor-wise, it seems okay. Um, let me give you the rundown. O2 GMC Sierra 2500 HD, 254,000 miles. I turned that coming home from where I bought it yesterday. So basically, she ain't even ready for her first oil change yet. She's still like brand new. Um, yeah, it does have cloth interior. Interior's actually, I can't lie, interior's pretty mint. Um, cloth seats. She's the old extendo cab. This, I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, it's actually really clean in here. Um, there's nothing's like ripped really or torn or broken. So that's pretty cool. Got the uh, aftermarket Kenwood touchscreen, which is nice so I could play my own music. And yeah, steering wheel just got a little tear up here, but honestly, not too bad. Oh, by the way, if you guys are watching this video on my truck and you are not subscribed, what are you doing? So this here truck cost me $2,500. And honestly, I couldn't pass it up. I was looking at Mercedes and other trucks for upwards of seven, eight grand. And when I saw this truck, or I'll tell you the whole story when we get in the truck, but long story short, this truck cost me $2,500. And honestly, I'm not too mad. I, I'm pretty satisfied with it. It's, it does everything I need to do. It's four wheel drive. It's got a bed to haul like dirt bikes and sleds. So can't complain there. Um, I'm gonna go around and show you guys everything that's broken on this truck. Cause it's actually a lot. So I'm gonna show you everything that's bad on this truck. Let's see. Starting here, rust, 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 more rust. So this tailgate here, I don't know if I want to open it because when you open it, it doesn't really go back on. But um, yeah, this tailgate, when you open it, it falls off. Uh, the hinges are rusted to shit right there. So I don't think I'm gonna open this unless, actually, you know what? Yeah, no, nah, I don't feel like messing with that right now. It's cold out, so I'm not gonna mess with that. Um, so also in the bed of my truck, there is part of my exhaust. I didn't realize that. It was covered in snow yesterday. But there's part of my exhaust. And I took a look under here. And yeah, she's pretty much rusted through. So I think I'm just gonna do a muffler delete on this thing because it doesn't need a muffler anyway. So yeah, it's pretty much rusted through. That's why my exhaust is sitting in the bed of my truck. So since that rusted off, it looks like I'm just running the axle dump for now until I get this fixed or taken out. Um, zip ties on both mirrors. You know how it'd be, be like that sometimes. Uh, headlights are really faded. Not a big deal, I guess. Rock chips, but it's got 254 thou on her, so that's really not a big deal. Um, got a mint dent here and another nice dent right here. I don't know how that got there, but they're there. Uh, this thing's cracked. That's really not a big deal either. Like, I might take these off and replace them. So here's the other issue, which is kind of, I don't know, a big issue, but not really, is these just don't work on either side. Um, I read it's like a push rod or something, but, uh, oh, shoot, she might be going somewhere. Yeah, no, these don't work at all. These doors do not open, so got to get that checked out or try to fix it myself, but not a big deal. I lied, the interior isn't mint. This, uh, this happened, but let's shove that back in there. I do like the look of the truck as a whole. I didn't really want red, but that's just kind of what it came down to. I realized I was spending $2,500 on a truck. I don't have a say in much of anything, so I just settled for the red. It's really not that bad. Um, yeah, there's a little gap here. I'm pretty sure that gap shouldn't be there, but um, yeah, it definitely shouldn't be there. But that's that's minor. Um, yeah, I mean, it's really not bad. The wheels actually look cool. Tires, eh, she's gonna need some new shoes before winter, but uh, we'll deal with that when the time comes. Obviously, you guys know me. If you guys watch my channel, I have plans for just about everything I buy. So there are plans for this truck. Uh, we're gonna hop in the truck. Uh, we're gonna take a quick drive and I will give you guys all the plans for this truck and what I have ordered or what I'm gonna be doing to it. So yeah, we're gonna hop in the truck real quick. If you guys were wondering the Stang will we put away soon just cause I have that thing right now. So the Stang will most likely be put away soon just because I don't need it anymore. So or I don't need, I need it. Trust me, I need the Stang. But like, I'm not gonna drive it this winter. Let's keep her salt free. So I'm gonna put her away for the winter. 
Oh, since the muffler is like got a hole in it, kind of missing, I'll give you guys a cold start because this thing's pretty loud. Actually, wait, it's not a cold start. I did just drive this like an hour ago, not even, maybe 20 minutes ago. But I'm gonna give you guys a start up with the uh, rusted muffler so you guys can see what that sounds like, I guess. <laughs> Oh yeah, the chrome's coming off the mirror too. Another issue is when it's in park for some reason, the low fuel gauge goes on and this doesn't work. But when you put it in drive and start driving, it goes away and goes back to normal. So that's just another issue, but it's whatever. I do have to say, this is probably worth more than the truck and I am glad it's in here because I like playing my own music. I don't mess with the radio. So it's nice to have the Kenwood in here. It bumps, can't lie. Yeah, so here it is. I'm in a straight line, it's gotta be cocked. And this is, I could do this, and the, yeah, the steering's really loose. Let's just, that's the point, is the steering is really loose on this, so I might have to get that fixed. But I mean, like like I said, not too worried about it. It is what it is, you know? It's a, uh, what is it now? 16 year old truck, so you get what you pay for. Uh, you can't really see it, uh, focus. Okay, yeah, here, the headliner is actually kind of falling off too, but that could just be taped up or something, I don't know. But yeah, headliner is falling off. Kenwood bumps though. All right, so I guess one of my favorite filming spots, I haven't been here in like six months. They put houses here apparently. So it is no longer my favorite filming spot, but it's gonna do for today. So obviously I have plans for this truck. I got plans for every car, every sled, every bike, every toy I buy. And so far what I have planned is these headlights gotta go because I can't really see out of them, they're useless. So I got new headlights coming. I'm gonna do bigger tow mirrors. I'm thinking about removing these, you guys. Comment down below, should I remove these or not? I'm not sure. Um, doing tints, like maybe, I was gonna do tints today but I didn't wake up, so I'm gonna do tints probably tomorrow. Um, taking these off because I don't have a use for them and I think it'd look better without them. Um, obviously gonna fix this tailgate that's falling off. You can see the hinge right there. That's getting fixed. Um, I was gonna do new tires, but to keep my wheels, but I'm starting to second guess that. I don't know, should I do a wheel set in tires or should I just do tires? You guys comment that down below too, what I should do. Should I get a set of like black wheels or something? I think black would look pretty sick, but I'm not too sure you guys comment down below on that. And then, I don't know, I'm just looking at a bunch of little stuff. Like obviously I'm doing tints. I might remove these or take them off because of what you guys think. Said these are going wheels and tires thinking about different tail lights and i'm getting the bed rail caps because once these come off it's gonna be really shitty with the rust under there so i'm gonna get bed rail caps and that's about all i have planned so far all right so we're back in the truck it's like really freaking cold out and windy um basically yeah i bought this truck it's $2,500 it's not gonna be in the best of shape um has 254,000 miles so I'm really not complaining I funny story with this truck is I actually went to go buy a different truck like they had a 07 f-150 and they're like we drove there because we were like okay it's a really good deal we gotta go we gotta go get this truck so we were on our way to buy this f-150 and we were literally 10 minutes away and he called it he's like yeah we can't find it anywhere I think we either sold it or don't have it so we're like well shit I guess we'll just come take a look at what you got he drives us over to the used truck lot and shows us this baby, which is now my truck. And yeah, I settled because I realized I can't have everything I want for $2,500. I wanted a crew cab, I got an extended cab. I wanted leather with heated seats, I got cloth. Yeah, I got cloth. I wanted black or a white truck, or maybe like a silver or gray. I ended up with red. So obviously I knew I wasn't getting, oh yeah, also, I wanted a, this is actually a 6.0 gas motor, not a diesel in case you guys couldn't really tell. Um, I wanted a diesel, I ended up with a gasser. So basically for $2,500, I had to be realistic on what I wanted because I wanted a lot for my money and I realized like I wasn't gonna get everything I wanted obviously. So that's why I settled for this. And I see you guys, I'm pretty happy with it. I like it. Uh, Stang's gonna be put away soon. This is like basically, it's what I need. It's a truck, it's four wheel drive. It's gonna get me from point A to point B and hopefully back to A. So, I mean, I'm really not complaining. Oh yeah, also, I wanted a Ford, ended up with a Chevy. Happens like that, it'd be like that sometimes you feel. So, yeah, obviously there's gonna be a lot of truck videos coming. I actually like this truck, so I'll probably keep it for a little bit. And there's gonna be a lot of truck videos coming with builds and everything. Like, I'm not gonna build the truck, but I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff to make it look better and fix the broken shit. So I'm gonna be making a bunch of truck videos, so. If you guys are interested in that or here just for my truck shit all of a sudden, 
subscribe please i'm trying to get to 10k by the end of the year so if you guys are interested in the truck build or truck content why don't you guys hit that subscribe button like i said this is a freaking dirt cheap truck so i didn't expect a lot from it and honestly it's nicer than i thought i was gonna end up with so be like that windshield wipers shot i drove this thing home in the snow yesterday shot so i need new windshield wipers too that's really not a big deal that could happen on any car and yeah i drove this thing home in the snow actually because it was snowing up where i bought it and ooh, the lighting is terrible there we go drove home in the snow and four-wheel drive worked great it handled well in the snow so like this is basically everything i needed and i'm honestly satisfied with it so i'm not going to complain uh side note these seats are hella comfortable guys i can't even lie these chevy seats man comfy very very comfy another thing that's broken is the power mirrors only go down so yeah i can't really adjust these but it'll be fine so yeah truck guys if you're watching this comment down below what wheels and tires i should get for this truck because i do want wheels and tires uh as of right now anyway and comment down below what other things i could do this truck to make it look cooler i don't know if i want to lift it but comment down below your thoughts on what i should do this truck because i'm not a truck guy i'm a mustang guy so i don't really don't know i'm new to this all right, so it got too cold and windy for me to outro outside. I'm a little girl, I know. So that is gonna be it for today's video. I wanna just make a video showing you guys my truck, revealing my winter car. Um, obviously, nothing special. It's just a uh, clapped out 2500, but it is my winter car and there's gonna be a lot of content on it. So if you guys are new here and enjoyed this video or are interested in any of my future content, hit that subscribe button. If you guys like this video, drop a thumbs up on this video and comment down below your thoughts on my truck and what I should do to it. I need help. Uh, should I keep those window things on? Should I get wheels and tires? Should I just get tires? I don't know, I'm not a truck guy. So comment down below why I should do this truck. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Bitches change, yeah, I like I ain't know this. Get in money, nigga, that my main focus. With two, two, three, you act like you don't know this. Go part of beam and my niggas always fall.